prices at the gas pump are starting to come down around the country and here in Hawaii, but the same cannot be said for heavy oil costs. Many shipping companies continue to add fuel surcharges for their service, and customers end up paying the price. Here's Max Rodriguez. There's no end in sight for the fuel surcharge, an added fee by shipping companies and distributors. Companies like Matson recently increasing that fuel surcharge at the end of July. It was the third hike this year. Matson says the surcharge is a percentage of the ocean freight rate applied to each shipment. That percentage currently at 54 percent. This fee having a ripple effect. Whenever we have a, a price increase, we try to pass out memos to the customers, you know, saying that uh, Matson, for, for instance, have uh, increased their prices for fuel charge. So we kind of give them a heads up. When shipping costs go up, so do the delivery prices, which end up being reflected at local retailers and your wallet. Honolulu Freight and Young Brothers also increasing fuel surcharges recently. A Young Brothers spokesperson says, in line with our tariff and as a regulated utility, Young Brothers adjust the fuel surcharge, which is a pass-through cost to customers based on fluctuations in the price of diesel. Young Brothers does not mark up the cost of fuel or earn any profits from this surcharge. The Public Utilities Commission oversees Young Brothers and says it works to ensure unjustified fees are not imposed on taxpayers. A fuel price adjustment is reviewed every three months. But for now, those increases trickling down to shops and customers. We did have to increase our prices for the wholesale. We also had to increase our prices for the retails. We're trying to do it marginally, but, uh, but we do have to, to, to pass up some of those things on. As for future surcharges, Madsen says prices are starting to moderate. And once there is a sustained downward trend, the surcharge will drop as well. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.